Hey guys, my name is Victoria B. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight I will be reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are not an Aries Sun sign, check your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. There could be some messages in here for you as well. And also check your Aries North Node. Could be messages in there for you as well. Remember, you can reverse the roles, male or female. Switch the stories around, vice versa. And please remember, this reading is a collective reading. All messages will not resonate. Take what messages that resonate in this video and forget the rest. Um, I am doing personal readings, okay? They are $55 for one hour, all right? And if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just um, there will be a text in my description box. Just text that number and say, I would like to book a reading and I will get back with you ASAP, okay? Let's see. Let's get some sage going here. Let's clear our energy. All right, Aries. I got a lot of messages for you. Um, I've got, I'm reading the two oracle cards that I drew from. They're called the uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, okay? So, it was a very good card. I think this is going to be a love reading. It looks like it for Aries. There's y'all's card. All right. And I got the Lady of Lightning. And if you look real close, look real close, you will see on here, this is, to me, it looks like some kind of goddess or deity. Notice that the goddess is Asian. And I looked up the information on this goddess, and she's a Chinese deity. Very powerful. All right. Let me read. I'm going to read out of the book for just a second. It, just bear with me. I want you to get the full value of this message. All right. And it came up in this uh, particular deck. Either the card is an ally, which is for you, a good thing, or a challenge. So both on this card, number 35, I got... That this is an ally. All right. This is an ally. This is a good thing. So, and then I got the sacred union partnership and romance number 27. So it looks like you maybe have a partner, a soulmate, a twin flame, or a business partner. Make it ever how however how it resonates to you. You may be going into union with them, or it could be. You have some feels. Somebody has some feels for you there, Aries, you know, so. But this card also came up as an ally. It wasn't a challenge. So there's nothing negative in here about this union or this relationship that you're trying to, somebody's trying to come towards you is kind of what I'm getting. And I don't know if you're interested in this person or not, but we're going to see the Lady of Lightning. Surprises, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift. So it's kind of like a tower. But this is a Chinese deity. All right. So this is a very powerful deity. This is not just any tower card. All right. This deity is trying to help you connect with this sacred union. If you want it. Okay. Let's read about the Lady of Lightning. And this is an ally. She is an ally for you right now. Which is someone that's. In your corner, on your side. Alright, it says in the book, As an ally, the Lady of Lightning brings powerful forces of change into your life. She tells you to expect a sudden shift in your circumstances. Perhaps a situation you weren't anticipating arises and offers you the opportunity of a lifetime or a series of aha moments. Culminates in a pivotal flash of insight Causing every th everything to change just like that. So it's going to be some kind of sudden change. Okay. A sudden change. A tower can be a breakup. A tower can be a powerful realization. A power. A, even it could be a brilliant idea. Um, it could be like, oh, this person has been right in front of me. And I didn't even know. This lady, this Chinese deity here is trying to connect you with a partner. You are trying to connect you with your partner whoever this is to you Aries anyway something's going to change just like that Psh, lightning 
maybe someone enters your life and pushes you to new heights. This could be you, Aries. Um, maybe this is the partner that you're interested in or they're interested in you. It looks like it could be a twin flame or a soulmate or even a business partner. We need that, okay? And you may, and also after that it says you may have a brilliant idea that hits you like lightning. An aha moment, okay? Be prepared. Change is imminent. This part, this this thing is strong. This deity is, I looked it up. It's very, very strong. And they're, it's trying to, this is something that is supposed to happen, but maybe it's being blocked. And this, this lightning, this lady of lightning is going to come in and rock y'all's world. Just saying, okay? Be prepared. Change is imminent. And a total paradigm shift may be upon you. Don't resist the changes as this kind of lightning isn't something you want to fight. Great things are happening when the Lady of Lightning appears. So it's a tower, but this is something to me that looks like it's a destined union. All right, they came out together, destined union. Let's see what the sacred union card has to say. Just, just bear with me and let, I wanted you to get the full value of this message, okay? I have a lot of other things I found out about this goddess deity, but I don't want to, you know, I don't don't want to bore y'all to death. This sacred union is also an ally, which is is the two of you. It would be a balanced relationship. You would both of you would be in each other's corner. It sounds like some loyalty to me. That's kind of what I'm getting. But people may be blocking it. So this lady of lightning is going to come in and. Cause some changes, imminent, sudden changes, shocking changes, belief shaking changes, a, even a brilliant idea. You may, your partner, this person may be coming up with a brilliant idea to get to you or vice versa. You know, the story could be vice versa. It's somebody that's interested in you, Aries, and you may be interested in this person. I don't know. Anyway, as an ally, the sacred union is all about beautiful, true partnership. It shows you that spirit is listening and is always by your side, helping you co-create your greatest desires and manifest your destiny. When you achieve, when you receive this ally, know that you're never alone on your path. Partnership with the divine is yours whenever you need help. So the, the divine is helping bring this union together, you and your person, whoever that might be. Okay. The sacred union also represents the coming together of all kinds of harmonious alliances. An ally is an alliance. Just like in times of war. You know, we have countries that we're allies with and we have countries that we're not with. So whoever this person is, they're on your side. And you're probably on their side too. There is some loyalty there is what I'm kind of getting. Okay, harmonious alliances, friendship, family, business, and of course romance. So this could be um, a ro it could be a romantic thing or it could be a family thing. It could be a friendship that's going to turn into a romance. Um, and maybe you and this person are going to build together, build a business or build some kind of empire. Just saying, you know, no matter what the form, this message pertains to the value of partnership and reminds you to observe the gifts bestowed upon you by the sacred union. This is a very positive omen. Let me repeat that. No matter what the form, the message pertains to the, to, to the value of partnership and reminds you to observe the gifts bestowed upon you by the sacred union. This is a very positive omen. This sacred union is a very positive omen. And... It took this powerful deity to come in and take care of this. And of course it's source, but this is somebody that this lady of lightning is um, almost insisting upon source. It, there, she's insistent that it's going to, that it's got to happen. Okay. Maybe you guys are going to help the planet. Who knows? All right. But you both are allies, not a challenge. They both come up as ally. See? All right. Let's see, Aries. Let's see who this is. This is 
let me see who this is for you. All right, just give me a moment. I'm going to use the, I told you the name of the deck. This is the Dream Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. And the other deck I used was Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Okay, that's the, the Oracle deck I used. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Gods of the Highest White Light. In the heavens, angelic beings, let us know. Spirit gods here on earth. What is this uh, lady of lightning in the sacred union? Who is this per? What is the energy of this person that's coming in for Aries? Or this person that's interested in Aries? I have a feeling this is going to be I think this is a love reading, finally. I get tired of doing those other type of readings. You know, it's, they're very, it's just stuff that I see that people need to know. So this, I think, is going to be a love reading for Aries. All right. What is the energy of the person, of the sacred, of the partnership? Who is this? What is their energy? What is their energy? Oh, no. The seven of swords. No. But listen. Because of the surrounding cards. I know y'all got a negative aspect of the seven of swords. But let me tell you. These two cards here denote that and what I channeled denotes that it is going to be a good thing let me tell you why the seven of swords is not always bad this means that maybe you two might have a lot of blockages there could be a lot of people blocking this union so you're gonna have to sneak away you're gonna have to come up with a plan to sneak away from all these, all these negative forces that has been keeping you apart, possibly for a very long time. You're going to have to. It's also telling me that a lot of people was, they may have been telling lies about your person. This is um, not a bad card in this case. Maybe your person is trying to figure out a, a way a, to sneak away so they can get to you because they have a lot of blockages. It could be either or on either side. All right, what's so what else do we have? Um, yeah, the hangman. Yeah, um, this is your person's energy. Pisces. This is a Pisces card. And then we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius on the Seven of Swords. In this case, uh, your person could be really, really stuck where they're at. They might have to, they could be stuck with, this is what it's going to take, this powerful deity to come and take your person out of the hangman tree here, okay? They're going to have to, because everything has been delayed for them. Everything has been delayed. I don't know why my video just is, is doing that. Okay, we'll just keep going. Everything has been delayed. So they're going to sneak away. I'm getting, that's your person. They want to sneak away towards you. All right? Yeah, the king of swords is on the bottom. Hopefully this video will come back on in a minute. The seven of swords, the king of swords is on the bottom. Yeah, this person is strategizing. That's your person's energy. This person is strategizing how they can get to you, how they can sneak away. They may already, with the ten of cups, they may already be in a family situation or be with somebody else, but they don't want to be there anymore. And they're trying to figure out a way to get come towards you. Okay? Wow. Okay. Okay, what is the energy of Aries? This person is um, coming up as a a very smart person. They could have they could be an air sign or have air in their chart. Ever how? But that's the energy they're in. They're in the King of Swords energy, trying to figure out a way to get to you, to sneak to you, because everything is being delayed. All right. So, what is the energy of Aries person? Okay, I mean, excuse me. What is the energy of Aries? Excuse me, guys. What is the energy of Aries? What is the energy of Aries, please? The Ace of Pentacles. Oh, Aries. You got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift from the universe. It says in that book, we know you're a gift from the universe, okay? 
And this is also could mean you're very gifted. But in that book, when I was reading about the sacred union, whoever this person that's trying to come towards you is going to be a gift to you also. You could, you guys could be a gift to each other. But this person wants to offer you this ace of coins too. They want to offer you something stable. Yeah. Wow. Okay. What else is the, what's Aries, what is Aries energy right now? What is Aries energy? Aries energy, please. What is Aries energy? The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. So your energy is the Ten of Pentacles. So look, it went from the Ace to the Ten. So like I said, this could be a very harmonious relationship. Your person has has the pinnacle, the ace of pentacles to offer you. Both of y'all could be gifted. You're coming out as the ten of pentacles too. Both of y'all are, this is a gift. It's going to go from the ace to the ten. And it's been delayed. With the ace of pentacles or, or coins, it can mean that it took a long time for this to come around. Or it's, it's time for it to come around now because it's taken so long. Your person may have to sneak away. Because they are in some stuck situation. All right. But the King of Swords, they're coming up with a plan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know why my video is coming. Is, I don't know why my video is doing this. But anyway. Okay, what is the what is the root of the problem? What is the actual problem why you two cannot come together? What is the problem? The Six of Swords. Okay. Yeah, the Six of Swords just came out and it has a boat that's in the water. Half part partially four swords are in the water. I mean, yeah. Some swords are in the water, but there's two swords uh, still on the sand here. And your person is try is wanting to, they're wanting to do this. They're wanting to come towards you. Okay. But they're still stuck. The two swords could be indecision, but they are on their way. They're coming up with some kind of master plan to get away so they can come towards you. That's what I'm seeing. Yes. And uh, we got, wow. Hmm. Yeah, we got the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be your person. Your person, and this has got Sagittarius and Scorpio. So your person could be uh, Sagittarius and have Scorpio in their chart or be Scorpio or have Sagittarius in their chart. They're part Sag and part Scorpio. So the cup, 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 sorry, I can't talk, y'all. I'm getting excited. Yeah. And then we have the Four of Cups. Maybe they, they had an opportunity with you before and they blew it. Maybe because of the situation they were in. But this person has never forgot about you. But they, they're regretting whatever. Maybe some opportunity came for you guys to be together and they that something happened. Or they may have felt like you were... Maybe they felt like you rejected them. With the King of Wands, they may have came forward to you and maybe you told them no... Maybe they feel like you rejected them or they feel like something happened and they regret something that they did or they said to you. We have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's a very, this King of Wands is very burdened, male or female. Doesn't matter. It has to be male or female. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it's because they have, they're probably, and it looks like they're in another commitment, but they're trying to get out of it, Okay. But the Lady of Lightning is going to blow them out of the hangman's tree. I'm seeing that. <laughs> so. But you're coming up as the, eight, uh, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And your person's coming up as the King of Swords and the King of Wands. So we have two kings here. This could be like a divine masculine energy. Um... What's the energy? Uh, what happened with this? What happened, Aries? I mean, what 
what happened? What happened? Why did this person miss this opportunity with you? Why did you reject them? Or what happened? Why are they on their knees? Tower. Yeah, you you had some kind of a tower. No, this is not the tower that's getting ready to come up. You had some sort of tower. Sorry about the delay in my video. You had some sort of tower. This is not the t this there's another tower getting ready to come, but it's much stronger. You had some sort of tower. Uh you may have been with somebody and you guys had a breakup or something this person did or said upset you. Or you could have had some other issue in your life that caused you to have a tower. This person, this is how they're feeling. You know, they're they're burdened by whatever happened. This King of Wands, they are trying to get away. Let me see. Aries. Ace of Cups. Yeah, they love you. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Ace of Cups. This is unspoken love being spoken. This is somebody trying to forgive themselves. Maybe they did something to you. I don't know what that is. Um, they upset you and caused you to have a tower. But you see on this Four of Cups card... You know, maybe they did, they felt, maybe this person could have felt like that you rejected them too. And they're looking up at that, that ace of pen, that ace of cups. And here it is. They're, they're still looking at it and they're regretting something that they did, or they missed an opportunity with you, or they felt like you rejected them. But this person has a lot of love for you. That's a high love card. Wow. Yeah. We got the moon and the high priestess right after that. Woo. This, to me, the moon and the high priestess can mean that um, both of you got, it, it just tells me, uh, since your person is kind of has a Pisces energy, and you kind of have, um, I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm thinking the high priestess might be you, or it could be both of you. Both of you guys are highly intuitive, or you, or both, and I'm, I'm seeing it as both. Both are very, you're very highly intuitive. All right, you both could be very gifted. There's a, been a lot of blockages, okay? Here's the Queen of Wands. We have a couple. <laughs> that must be, that's your card, Aries. That's your card. You could be the feminine. We got the King and the Queen of Wands. There you go. There's our couple. This is our Sacred Union Partnership Romance. Woohoo! Okay. Okay. Something's getting ready to happen in the future. It's going to blast this king of wands out of the hangman's tree. Because <laughs> they're going to come and offer you this ace of pentacles. There's two aces in here. Aces denote new beginnings. So there you go. King and queen of wands. Your person's the king and you're the queen. And they know with you being the queen of wands that you're not going to accept anything less than respect honesty queen of wands they don't put up with that okay but anyway that's a match that is and that's our two soulmates we have here yeah mm -hmm. yeah and we have the four of swords yeah this one of you guys could be healing from something all right taking a break healing and then we have the two of wands this to me is a plan somebody's setting their intentions and see all the see the stairs in the sky this is a dream tarot um this person your person this king of wands is 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 has stepped up their vibration and they're trying to they want to get to you they're trying to come towards you they've devised a plan they've set their intention and they're having to do it like this with the Seven of Swords because they don't really, it's not looking like they have much choice. They've had to strategize, you know. And this could be the person that, anyway, I'm not going to say. That could be, that, we got two kings and a queen, so that's kind of like competition there. Yeah, they're planning. Four Swords, the Star. This is Aquarius. Uh, your person could be an Aquarius or have Aquarius in their chart, but the star is healing. 
uh, great hopes, great faith, great wishes. This person is wishing upon a star for you. They're healed. Looks like they have healed. They had a tower. Okay. Maybe after you had a tower, they're going to have one next with the Lady of Light. And this is going to be a Lulu of a tower because we got this Chinese deity here. And this, this thing, this, this person does, this deity does not take no for an answer. It's going to happen. I may go more into detail later about that after we get done with the reading about that card because I checked into that deity. It's a it's an Asian deity. Anyway, star means they're seeing you as their star. You could be popular. You could have star quality. This is how they're seeing you also. You could look at it. They're planning. Yeah, walk, eight of cups. They're going to walk away. But they're having to do it with that seven of swords and hangman. They're going to have to do it. They're having to do it kind of in an unorthodox way. They could have a, a partner that's abusive or might free, flip out on them. You know the story. You know what I'm talking about. Eight of cups. Walking away. Leaving everything you have. This person is leaving everything they have. Leaving all the cups stacked up all neat. And there's a full moon. It could happen during a full moon. They're walking up those steps. Here's two. Here's the two of wands. They want to walk up those steps to where you're at, Aries, to the high vibration. It could be a lot of dreaming going on in a dream state. With that high priestess and moon, there's a lot of uh, intuition. A lot of y'all could be already be talking in the 5D in the you know in the astral realm. Justice, yeah. This is this is what's deserved. You deserve, y'all, you know, you deserve a good partner. This other person, you're going to get some kind of karmic justice. This king of swords could be a karmic that your person's with. They're trying to get away from them. And, but they are going to have to come up with a, they're trying to come up with a master plan. Justice. Both of you two deserve love. With all them towers and two towers and we got one tower, a tower coming up and the star and the four swords. Looks like both of you have been through a lot, okay? And you're supposed to be together. The world, yeah. The cycle's going to end between your person's going to end the cycle with whoever they're with. Or that could be you. I don't know. And the interesting thing about this card is it's got all the elements. It's got air, earth, fire, and water. And there's a fool in between this card right here. There's a fool. Meaning the person is going to end what they're in. They're going to end the relationship they're in and come towards you. And the fool. That's a fresh start. And also, check this out. There's a circle there. Check out the circle. That circle represents dimensions. You could be on a higher vibration than your person, Aries. But this person, once they do this, they're going to be on the same vibration as you. Okay? You're going to be, you already are a match with the King and Queen of Wands. But both of you are going to be able, once you get together, it's going to be amazing. You're going to be able to, your spiritual gifts will, gifts will enhance. You will be able to travel through dimensions. See that right there? Once this person leaves whoever they're with, because they're kind of in a, a kind of in, I don't know if it's an abusive relationship or it's emotionally abusive or physically. I think it's more like an emotional abusive thing with that King of Swords. The person pl probably plays mind games with them, so forth, so on. But this is going to allow your your person to also ascend into an into the next dimension that they need to be in. And with you there to help them, both of you could really be amazing together. You could do a lot of help on this planet. Yeah, the chariot. Yeah, this person's coming for you, Aries. <laughs> Woo! This person's coming for you, Aries. Um, that that chariot charioteer is coming up out of the water. Uh, your person could have been buried under the water, bur you know, buried in their emotions. They're coming up out of the water and they're coming towards you. Mm -hmm. So they're going to get in their chariot and come towards you. Yeah, the emperor. Yeah, your person is an emperor. This is the king of wands and the emperor. 
the king of wands and the emperor that's your person that your person is a divine masculine whether uh you're a man or a woman and then you're the feminine the queen of wands wow okay i like that and the third party the third party is the king of swords or it could mean your person's strategizing it could mean both things actually are going on so yeah what the hell is this three of swords four of wands okay I don't know whose energy this is. Um, three of Swords, Aries. I don't know. Maybe this person broke your heart or you broke theirs or both. But it could be this other person over here that your person's involved with is trying to get away from. This person is going to be hurt and they're going to be really pissed off. Because I see... The heart part where they're crying, and I see the dark side, the other side of the face, which is dark. So this person that they're with is going to be heartbroken. They're going to be pissed off. I would be careful with that, okay? But look, four of wands. And look, it's got the Aries card. This is Venus and Aries. I think it's, I think it's Venus and Aries. Four, four of wands. Yeah. So this is a twin flame, or this is a twin flame. King and Queen of Wands, Emperor, Four of Wands. Wow, the Chariot, Justice, the World, the Star, the Tower, the Moon, and the High Priestess. I may need to check into that. Yeah. For, uh, Nine of Pentacles. I think that's your energy. Or it could be both. Uh, this is my self-assured, confident, independent person, business person, uh, single on their own. I think this could be you, Aries. Okay, Or it could be them. They may have, they might be ready to become single. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So take it how it resonates. But you're going to have this pissed off King of Swords is going to be, this is a person I think is going to be, this person is going to be heartbroken. They're going to be pissed off. But your person was being emotionally, manip, being manip, mentally or emotionally manip, manipulated by this King of Swords. Hermit. Yeah, look. Virgo energy. Your person uh, may become single and they may need to be alone for a while to get to reflect, to go down inside themselves. Or this could be you. Okay. Judgment. Yeah. Judgment. Mm -hmm. Justice and judgment. Some kind of, um, some kind of karma is playing out for whoever. And this could be somebody that whoever you were with, you could have had, this situation could be you too. I'm reading about your person. But this situation, now let's flip it over to you. This could be somebody you were with. This could actually be you, somebody you were with. All right? And they they were they were manipulative to you. Uh, they could have stolen from you. Let's flip it back to you now. Okay? Justice and judgment. Both you guys are going to get, these people are going to get karma for, for being mean to you, for doing bad things to you. Looks like it's going on both sides. Justice and judgment is heavy karma. Because you two are supposed to be together. They may have been blocking it both on your side. And like that could have been your story on the other side. Um, you got, You all could be going through the same thing. But this lady of lightning is going to come in and blast these people to smithereens. You know? They didn't want to leave peacefully. So y'all remember Yosemite Sam? He goes, well, I'm just going to have to blast them out. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because five of pentacles can mean that I'm just going to do the love meaning for right now. It could mean that um, you and your person, this is a soulmate card, you and your, the king and queen of wands, y'all feel lonely or left out, left out in the cold from each other. And it also could mean these people, these intercessors and interferers that's been blocking your relationship for a long time are going to experience some financial hardship. That could be their karma and judgment. Six of wands, it's going to be victory. There's going to be some kind of battle here. 
or there was, yeah, there's going to be some kind of battle that is going on. Because I keep looking at this card. You know, somebody's going to get blasted, you know. Six of Wands means victory. Victory after a battle. Yeah, you two is going to have some victory after some sort of battle that went on. Yeah. Wish fulfillment. You're this person's wish fulfillment. You make them happy. Temperance could be a Sagittarius. Your person could be Saggy. Either Saggy or Aquarius. Or I'm looking on here. Let's see. Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces. Um, maybe an air sign. I said Aquarius. So Aquarius, Pisces, and Sag. That's what I'm getting. Okay. And I think the High Priestess card is Cancer. So it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, or Aquarius. But this could be a, a reunion. But in this case, I don't think it's a reunion. I think you're going towards, I think this is a new person. That you're supposed to be with. Or it could be an old person that were people. Either one. You know, you tell me. Could go either way. Because it's being blocked. We also got this lady of this this Asian deity. That's going to come in and, and blast this shit out of the park. So you guys can be together. And also, we got Temperance. Which could be Michael the Archangel. Mm -hmm, working with you as well. So you got a lot of spirit on your side here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And this is not, this is not your person. This is not your new person. Your old person. Aries could have stabbed you in the back. They could have just brutally, a bunch of times, come back, leave, stab you in the back. I'm getting somebody could benefit from acupuncture every time I see that card. I, just, I say that. This is what I see. Acupuncture. Yeah, that would help. Anyway, it's going to be the ending of a painful cycle. Once all this, all this, these, once I, Michael, the archangel, intervenes, spirit, and this lady of lightning, this Asian deity comes in and blasts it. They're going to blast. If you don't get out, if your person don't get out of their house and come towards you, they're going to be blasted out. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> See, look at this. Look at this. And then we have temperance. Hold on a minute. This has got a ring of fire in it. Temperance. It's got the colors of the chakra and the ring of fire. So. Yep, and there's a moon in the background. Mm-hmm. All right, and after that painful cycle ends for you or your person or both, you're going to have the Wheel of Fortune. Look at this shit. The Wheel of Fortune, the Justice, and the Judgment card. All three. You got Judgment, Justice, and the Wheel of Fortune. So these people that's been blocking this shit for a long time, could have been a long time, they're going to get karma, they're going to get judged, you're, and you're going to be on the good side, Aries. And this new person mm -hmm. is going to turn in your favor. It's not going to be in their favor, but this is their fate. The karmic wheel is not going to be turning for them, only for you guys. It's going to be turning in your favor, but these people are going to suffer. All righty. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Why? I want to check this out. Why is this moon... The moon and the high priestess here. Hold on. Why is the moon and the high priestess here? All right. What? Darkness into darkness. The key to all mystery. Yeah, you guys. Looks like you had to go into the dark in order to find each other. But it's going to be the end of that soon. This person really loves you, Aries. They do. I can see it. They do. Yeah. Um, the high priestess in the moon. Verifying this. This is the... I said both of you guys or one of you could be highly intuitive. Extremely high, highly intuitive with those two cards coming out together. Um, the king of pentacles has come out. 
Okay. Why is it here? This could be, your person could be married, or you could be, or with another person, I don't know. Or this is somebody that's uh, the high priestess and the moon together. If it represents you two, you can make a lot of money together. Um, yes, Lord. Let me see. Yeah, it's not, though. The moon and the high priestess is some kind of hocus pocus going on. Could be a person they're connected to. The person they're trying to get away from. They could be in a, a committed relationship. Because after that, we got the Nine of Swords. And this Nine of Swords, um, there could be, your person could be, you or your person, whoever, if this represents you and your person, you and an ex or them and their person that they're in a committed relationship with, this person's sending them bad energy. They're, they say cruel words to them. They project negative energy onto them. Okay, this person may not be able to sleep. This King of Pentacles is a yeah. They they may be doing some hocus pocus. We're gonna see. If if anything, it could be just mental manipulation with a Moon and High Priestess. Yeah. Uh, mm hmm. Okay. Are they doing anything? Let me. Are they doing any type of spell work? Is there some kind of, or is it just manipulation? Are they doing? Is this King of Pentacles doing any type of spell work? Yep. Magician. Yeah. I taught. Why is it every damn time I try to do a love reading, it's still a love reading, people, but look at this. Magician. Somebody, this King of Pentacles, is projecting onto your person. Or you. Or both of y'all. In the dream state. With that Nine of Swords there. Projecting bad energy, sending you bad energy. Could be manipulating your thoughts and your dreams. Uh, astral attacks. Jesus. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, here's... They're doing it to you. Because your person is the emperor. The king of wands. They're doing this to you. So it's somebody doing this to you. Empress. That's your energy. Could be doing it to them too. Could be doing it to the Empress and the Emperor. And we have the Emperor, the Empress, the King and Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands, Temperance, the Wheel of Fortune, um, the Sacred Union card, which is like Two of Cups, um, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of uh, Pentacles, Temperance, the Star. I mean, it's a definitely a soulmate or twin flame. But we have that. This is your energy. Yeah, they're doing this to you. They could possibly be doing it. Yeah, look. They may be paying somebody to do this. Great. All right. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands to come in and take some action towards you. So let me tell you something. On the good side of this card. This can mean relocation of residence. Which means telling me that if you two guys get together, you're going to have to move. You're going to have to relocate. You got too many... Negative people around you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of negative people around you. Ugh. Yeah, and here's the Queen of Pentacles. That has a Sagittarius in it. And the King of Pentacles, I think, has a Pisces and Aquarius in there. In the See the cards? Has signs in them. These are the people doing this to you. Could be a couple doing this to you. So you can't be together. Just saying. Yeah, seven, seven of cups. A lot of magic going on in here. They could have attacked you up to seven times. That's why I say you need to relocate. Yeah, relocate, relocate. Because this is definitely uh, something good for you guys, all right? Jesus. All righty. Let me see what's going on in here. Let's pull. I didn't want to. I don't like when this comes up, but, you know, I have to look at it, you know. We're going to use the T edition to expose and find out what exactly what is going on. Let me light my say my 
Palo Santo incense stick. It did. It just went out. All right, clear this shit. Clear our energies. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, what's going on? What are they trying to do to my King and Queen of Wands and my 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 soulmates? And they're trying to be together. Been trying for a long time. What what's going on with this? What are they doing? What exactly are they doing? Okay. Okay, we have competition. So they're competing. Either you're compete your person is someone's competing with you for your person or vice versa. Okay, or both. Dangerous. Yeah, this person could be dangerous. It could be this king of swords over here. They could be dangerous. They could have a, an arrest record. Just saying. Not that I'm downing anybody that has, has an arrest record, but I'm saying this person may have, could be violent. And it says it's a woman. Dangerous woman. It's a woman. There's a woman doing this. So ever how that, Aries, I, could, I think that's you. You got a woman doing this to you. Trying to get rid of the competition. And they are dangerous. They're extremely focused on you right now. Yeah, they're doing some hocus pocus. This is a narcissist that you're dealing with. Also said this person likes attention. They're an attention whore. They're a liar. <laughs> they're a liar. Look at the snake. Yeah. Doppel, I mean, fight. Someone wants to... Get physical. I don't know if they want to fight your person or fight you. That's crazy. And doppelganger, doppelganger is someone, is a copycat. Someone that wants to be you. This could be someone that wants to be you or someone that wants to be like your person. Magic. Paying someone to do magic. I told you. Paying someone to do magic. And it's a karmic. It's a karmic woman. All right, and they shady. With the real slim, sh with the real slim shady, please stand up. Please stand up. <laughs> yeah, someone wants to take action towards you, and there could be some fake friends involved on both sides. So that's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, look at that shit, man. I don't even want to keep going. This is fucking crazy. Anyway, that's enough. That's enough. Anyway, what's going to happen is someone already had a tower. That could be you, your person. They're, they're, they had a tower. Or you. Both of y'all could have had one. It was on your side, but you had a tower. You're, you're healing. But the star means that you're healing. Or you already could be healed. And you're ready to try again. You or your person. Lady of Lightning. Surprises, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift, the sacred union, partnership, romance. This is a very special relationship. Like I said, you guys are going to be have gifts. You're going to be able to travel through different dimensions together. You're going to be able to help a lot of people. That's why it's being blocked. That's why it's being blocked. It's a four of wands relationship. This person that you're with, this person is going to sneak away from their person, think they have a plan going. They're going to be single. They're going to be in hermit mode for a little bit. You might have to be patient, Aries. I don't know. If you want this person, there's an Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. But anyway, somebody going to come and blast somebody out of their, they're going to be unblocked. This is some strong energy right here. Let me see if I can find my notes on that. I did look up. It's not in the book. It's something because it looked like a. You can see that she's Asian. Do look real close. There, she's Chinese. I'm trying to think of um, what. I don't know if I have my notes over here or not. I don't know what I did with them. I think I have them right here. On this card right here, 
just for information purposes. And it's not in the book, but she is some kind of Chinese deity. I know I've said that a hundred times. The Lady of Lightning says the Lady of Lightning is Chinese, Asian. She's a female, best known for controlling lightning, the lightning goddess. Okay. This is her name. I can't say it. Um, it's D I A N M U Dion Dion Mu Dion Mu. See the little. That's her symbol right there, and that's her her right. That's the writing that was next to it. It says the electricity known the electricity mother. This is an empress. It, it, you might be you might be the lady of lightning Aries because you come up as the empress the electricity mother also known as the lightning Inter empress so metaphorically something she's gonna devise some kind of plan to blast your person out of where they're at because they're they're really stuck I don't know if you care or not I'm just I'm just telling you and this is a determined goddess. You could be this person. I don't know, but I don't know. Something's going to happen. The universe is working on it. I just know. I can just see it. Yep. But this person that you're interested in or they're interested in you and is your divine partner, um, both of you are an ally to each other. You're on the same side. You're in the same corner. This person is loyal. And we know you are, Aries. We know. <laughs> we know that. So, let me see. Let's get some uh, Mystic Moon. I know this reading is getting kind of long. Love readings. But it, it is a love reading. There's love here. It's serious love. So, let's see what Mystic Moon has to say. Okay, what about this King and Queen of Wands? The Emperor and the Empress. The Four of Wands. Temperance. The Five of Pentacles. The Hermit. Temperance. The World. Um, where Did I leave anything out? And this sacred union to me would be like a, a two of cups. Two of cups and the lovers. Deep love. That's what I see it as. All right. Two aces. What kind of relationship is this? What kind of partnership is this? Emperor, the empress, the king, and queen of wands. Forgiveness. Okay. Now, put a little twist in here. Reconciliation with temperance. It said reconciliation. Could be. Or if it's a if it's a new person, okay, it's not a past person for your Aries, you're gonna have to forgive this person. Or vice versa. Okay, I don't know. Whichever way this is gonna turn. Yeah. Winter. Something could happen between you guys in the winter time. Mm-hmm. What else? Got observer on the bottom. That's that karmic person. <laughs> All right, what else? Emperor, the Empress, the King and Queen of Wands, the Emperor and the Empress, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, Temperance, the World, the Star. <laughs> okay. So we got understanding. So maybe your person has gotten some enlightenment. They're understanding this connection now. Surrender. I think they want to surrender. They're working on it. Contemplation is the fool. That kind of looks like somebody getting ready to jump off the to jump off the cliff there. Crossroads. Yeah, your person, two of wands, your person's planning. They're at a crossroads in their life, but they are planning. They have set their intention. So we have fall. Either fall or winter. Something could happen. You two could get together. Numbing. Okay. I don't know who this is. Maybe you or your maybe it's your person. Maybe they drink or they have they smoke a little weed or they're doing something to numb their emotions. It could be an addiction. I don't know if it's as you or them. Or it could be that karmic. The answer is yes. Yep. The answer is yes. And release. As soon as they release this. And you already have a fifth dimension relationship. You're already talking in the spirit because of that we saw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Something else we need to know? Fresh start. We had two aces. We'll take this as ace number three. 
fresh start. You could have a fresh start fall or winter. All right. Mute. Yeah, you both are just talking in the five dim in the five dimension, fifth dimension, but you're feeling each other's vibrations. The vibes are good. And hmm. Somebody here might be playing victim. And you don't it don't have to be your person. It could be the karmic doing this. The karmic could be going, oh, oh lordy, you know, I'm going through this, I'm going through that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else on this couple, this twin flame soulmate couple? Anything else we need to know? Anything else? Oh, yeah. Spring. So we got spring, fall. We got fall, fall, spring, fall, winter, spring. And I saw summer, too, when I was shuffling earlier. So... Winter, spring, summer, or fall. All you have to do is call. I lost my voice. <laughs> you got a friend. Somebody, somebody, it's a friend of yours that you want. They want to take it to the next level. I keep hearing that. You got a friend, winter, spring, summer, or fall by James Taylor. My voice went out. Divine Feminine. So you are coming up as the Queen of Wands, Divine Feminine. You're going to be this person's guide. And this person is, you're, they're going to come towards you. You're their soul tribe. Wow. Can you say wow? Yes, Lord. Cycles. Cycles. I told you. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. It's going to happen in some cycle. Maybe during a full moon. Or not. Yeah, your person's going in a new direction towards you. Because they have come to the conclusion that you're their person and they are ascending. Look at this shit. Ascending. There's two oars in the boat. Woo! Aries. And union. Look at that. Union. Sacred union. Sacred union. Sacred union. Twice. Mirroring each other. Metamorphosis. Death. Changing. Ascending. But I'm telling you right now that you better relocate. If you do get you two ever get together, relocate. Because you have too many people in your in your way. You both admire each other admire each other. Or they could really admire you. Let's just leave it like that. This person decided to refocus somewhere else and their focus is on you because they're devoted, hopelessly devoted to you. I might name the title, I might name the reading that, Hopelessly Devoted to You. You know that song by Olivia Newton-John? There's devotion. There's a candle there that's a flame, twin flame, soulmate. All right. Purge and awakening. Your person's going to wake up and they're not going to be stuck no more. Communication. Yep. Lord have mercy. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, Lordy. Anything else? I feel a need to pull some more. Anything else? Yep, self-worth. Good card. There's summer. <laughs> um, somebody is in their pride and ego. Could be them. Could be you. Might be you. But you're receiving each other's telepathic messages. There's going to be some kind of compromise here. Wow. Okay. Anyway, it's some kind of union for you. Let me see. Um, 
Let's pull a couple from the Golden Art Nebu. Let's see what else I can find out. And I'm going to get a song for you guys, too. I'm going to put a little music on it today. Okay. Need one on the King and Queen of Wands, the Emperor and the Empress. Union. Mirroring. Yeah, look at this. I told you guys, look. Five of Swords. You're going to have to relocate if you come into union with this person. Just saying. Because, and you're going to have to fire a lot of people. You're going to have to do have victory at all costs. All right, I'm sorry, but that's, this to me, it is a card. You're going to have to fire a lot of people. You're going to have to stand up. And you know, Aries, maybe this person needs you to help them out, or you might need to help them out. Y'all might need to work together on this, just saying. And moving away and relocating would be a very good idea. People need to be fired because they're in the way. We don't need a bad, this is a battleground. They have been doing this for a long time. Hell no. Anyway, I'm seeing that. That this um this this deity here is gonna help out too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. Okay. Anything else? What's the outcome? For right now, what's the outcome? outcome for this this relationship this sacred union what is the outcome queen of wands yep justice the empress mm -hmm. look at that queen of wands justice and the empress look at that so the Queen of Wands came out in this one. That's your person. I mean, yeah, that, that's you. But your person's the King of Wands. So you're going to get justice. And you're the Empress, too. So you're going to get justice in this situation. You're going to get your way. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what I have. That's the out. You're going to get your way. You guys are going to go into union. I don't know when. One of those cycles <laughs> in the year. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. All you have to do is call. <laughs> okay, James Taylor. Anyway, y'all probably don't know who James Taylor is. Some of y'all older people might know. Anyway, we're going to do some urban lyrics. This is the first longest reading I've done in a while. Love re My love readings tend to be long. Since this is a love reading, I kind of... Um, don't walk away from me. This is his karmic Aries. They don't want you to walk away from them. Or your person. Yep. What else? What else? Anything for the... What else for the emperor? And, what? Uh, the emperor and the empress. We want a song for them. We don't want this karmics. Karmics interfering. Emperor and the empress, please. Baby, I'm ready to give you all my love. <laughs> this is Gerald Levert. Gerald Levert, I think. Yeah. That new person's ready to give you all their love. <laughs> the karmic don't want you to walk away. Okay, anything else? Just be a man about it. I don't know. That sounds... I don't know. Just be a man about it. That's for a man. So I'm not going to say nothing about that. Anything else? What does uh, your person... What kind of song does your person want to dedicate to you? Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. What kind of... What is this King of Wands? What, are they, what, do, what kind of song do they want to... Um, dedicate to you, Aries, to you. What kind of song do they want to dedicate? Good Lord. Can't keep me away. The closer, I, yeah, the closer I get to you. You know that song? 
over and over again. I try to tell myself that we could never be more than friends. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was real the way you make me feel. That's Roberta Flack and Donny Hathaway. So you and this person could be friends and they want to be more than friends and can't keep me away. I don't know what song that is. I can't sing that. I can't sing that great. Because they love you. Oh, Lord. I knew there was something missing. We got the Ace of the ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. And now we have the Ace of Wands. They want to sex you up, too. <laughs> they got love on their mind. I got love on my mind. By Natalie Cole. I got they got love on their mind. Okay. They could fantasize about you. <laughs> okay. This where I want to be, they want to be with you. Yeah. Finding my way back to you. Yeah, that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm sorry it was so long, but it's a union. If you want it, you guys are gonna have to relocate or and you're gonna have to possibly fight with some people. It even had it had fight the fight card came in there. Somebody gonna, I mean, it's immature, but it happens. Adults do it too. These karmics are especially, they don't know anything else because they don't get their way. They're gonna fight. Just saying. You know, you can fight with your intelligence also, which is uh, you and your person. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Fire people, fight back, move away, relocate. If you get with this person in winter, spring, summer, or fall, it's going to be in a cycle. You need to relocate, move, all right? Anyway, that's all I have, Aries. I hope you, hope this helped you. I hope you enjoyed it. I did, and I will see you in my next reading. Love you, Aries. Mwah. God bless.